We all know the Dumb Friends League helps dogs and cats, but did you know that they help larger animals too? Let's hear more about the Harmony Equine Center from Joan Thielen. Joan, thanks again for joining us. You got to tell us who you got here on your lap. Sure. This is King Kong. He is a 14-year-old domestic uh, medium hair cat, and you'll probably notice he's shaved. He did have some mats, so we needed to shave him just for his comfort when he first got to the shelter, but he's super affectionate. He's purring away right now, and he obviously loves to just sit in laps and cuddle. He does have some age-related medical conditions, including chronic kidney disease that may require ongoing veterinary care, but he's really special, and he'd make a great addition to, to someone's home. Oh, he looks special. Well, we need somebody to adopt this sweet boy. And in the meantime, a lot of people know about the work that the Dumb Friends League, of course, does with cats and dogs, but you guys help larger animals too, which is just so fantastic. So tell us about the League's Harmony Equine Center. Yeah, the Dumb Friends League has a facility in Franktown, Colorado, our Harmony Equine Center, that serves larger animals, so horses specifically, mules, donkeys, anyone that falls into that equine family. And they help these horses through rehabilitation, training, and then eventually finding them their new families. Most of these horses come from situations of neglect and abuse, so they're really working to you know, change these animals' lives and finding them a loving home. Yeah, many of them just need that extra love. Where should people go if they're interested in potentially learning more about adopting a horse? So all the information about the Harmony Equine Center is at ddfl.org. You can learn more about the horses that are available for adoption, learn more about the what we do at the Harmony Equine Center and the type of training that we do for these horses. And then, you know, if you're interested, sign up to potentially meet with an adoptable horse. Our trainers are a great resource there. They really work one-on-one -on -one with you to make sure that that animal is the right fit for you and your family and, and help make that connection and bond. Yeah, well, obviously adopting a horse is a, a little bit more uh, you know, inclusive than adopting a dog. You have a lot that you have to think of before you do it. So if now maybe is not the right time to adopt a horse, how else can somebody support the Harmony Equine Center if they're interested in doing that? So you can, uh, of course, donate. The Harmony Equine Center being part of the Dumb Friends League is a nonprofit organization. So donations help provide the resources to care for those large animals out there. So things like hay, um, bedding, those sorts of things that will just support the work that they do, the training that they do. You can also volunteer. We have a great volunteer program at the Harmony Equine Center. So if you just want to get your horse fixed, you can go out there and help take care of those beautiful animals. Um, and you can just share the spread the word, you know, talk about horse adop adoption on social media. We have a Facebook group for our Harmony Equine Center. So you can find us at Dumb Friends League Harmony Equine Center on Facebook and just learn more about the different work and share share the word about horse adoption from there. What a mutually beneficial way to get your uh, horse fix <laughs> to go ahead and, and help help with you guys and then, uh, you know, be able to spend time with those horses. Joan, thank you so much for letting us know about the Harmony Equine Center and uh, King Kong, let's, let's get you adopted there, buddy. <laughs> You can learn more about how you can adopt or volunteer at the Har uh, Harmony Equine Center by heading online to ddfl.org.